Dunarmus Sportswear. Sponsors of Drop the Puck. Breaks and Sons sponsor Drop the Puck. Back at D-side Leisure Centre again for this episode of Drop the Puck and it's a battle between the Hull Jets who are flying high at the moment and the D-side Dragons of course. Um, Jets, 10 points from 7 games so far Ben, uh, won their last 2 games, have come in off the back of a 4-3 win over the Telford Tigers uh, and they've only lost 2 games, one of them against tonight's opponents, the D-side Dragons. The other hand, we've got the D-Side Dragons. Their last game was featured here on Drop the Puck. Uh, that game against Ultra Maces. But, um, of course, they didn't win out on that one. Still looking for that vital win. They're sitting in seventh place. And they've only had one win out of five. Four points from six games, Ben. This is a battle. It is, you know. The Jets have got some good momentum. And plus, you know, they're coming back off... Uh, they're coming in off the back of a, a victory last night against the Telford Tigers. I think that momentum could, could do them well, to be fair. Um, although saying that, you know, the Dragons have got some really good players in the ranks and I think one of the, our attentions have to turn to one of those players tonight. And that's number 15, James Shaw. Now, James has, has spent a couple of seasons at the Dragons now and one thing he's shown us is his skill and his pace. Mix that now with who we looked at last time, Reznicek, and I think you've got a dangerous combination there. Well, you say that we've got a dangerous combination. The, the Dragons are showing some signs of, of promise in that. Well, who should we be looking out for on the other hand? Well, I think the, the, only, the spotlight can only go on one person, really. And that's the number one player scorer at the moment in the league, that's Rich Hager. So Hager already this season so far. Uh, he's currently running with 22 points going into today's game. 17 assists and 5 goals. So, you know, he's not just a, an offensive threat in himself with his shooting, but he, he likes to pass the puck around, share the wealth, and that's going to be dangerous tonight, especially if he carries on playing with that same line as last season of Robinson and Beach. Well, you've got two teams here. One team flying really high at the moment, doing really well and winning the games, and keeping pressure on looking, going into that Christmas top spot. Of course, you've got the Dragons sitting at the bottom trying to fight their way out of it. It could go either way, though, Ben, because the Dragons are showing that form, like I said. I think it's time to go down to the ice anyway, and we should. Drop the puck. So, Mr. Williams calls the teams to the centre of the ice as the starting lineups get ready. And Gary, as we said in the introduction there, the Jets have got some form at the moment, and that's going to be dangerous against the Dragons team that are desperate to get some momentum going. Yeah, it's just, Dragons have played less games, but they're, even though they're sitting on the bottom, don't put them off. As we said earlier, that one win they've had against the whole Jets. Immediately face-off win there by Parsons for the Dragons. It's going to go back for Wainwright, who tries to play that up. Foreman takes a body off Parsons there on the blue line. They manage to clear it out. Early pressure. And well received by the Dragons as Perk skates over as well. Kept their little fan on the pass, but... Under control once more for the Dragons. Wainwright decides to go back stick. It's picked up by Robinson. Dumps it for Hager. Hager trying to find Beach. It's a quick shot. Whoa. And, and that was well worked there, Gary. Yeah, it was a quick move. Tried to catch him very early on. Face off, going to be right hand side of Bolwell. Resnicek is going to go against Taylor. Good win there for Taylor as he controls that for the Jets. And Regan Taylor keeps that in at the blue. It's going to be Jones over though, clears that out. Michael Jones of the Dragons. 
up on the boards once more. Shaw tries to go back stick and spin that back round, but he's put it into the danger zone. And now Spridgen's picked that up and he clears his own. It's a three odd man rush. Shaw down that left wing, going round the back of the net. Still, no, he loses out possession there. And it was a key defensive move there. Looks like Gieber. And here's Boris Gieber, was the man who got his stick in there for Hull. And now the Jets looking to try and clear out their own defensive zone. Spridgen does well to keep the play alive. Finds Christian Rinko. Christian Rinko rings that round for Shaw. Shaw, little backhand to keep it inside. Goes through the slot, crowded out. Just too far away from him there. Reznicek, puck pick it's on. It's a good shot in. And Guilfoyle there does well to stand the pressure. Christian Rinko. And he's just doing enough to frustrate him there. Ties up and he's all over. Oh, we got, there's going to be a hooking call early on here. And that looks to be assessed to number 91. That's a captain of the Jets, Mr. Andrew Ward. So, with 18 18 in his first period to go, immediately, Dragons go on the power play. Face off will be to the left of Guilfoyle, the ones to watch both on the ice. You got hot at the moment, Akeem, Hager. Oh. And he found Beach there. He gifted that away. Simpson does well to see Keaton out, and they've managed to clear the zone. Perk's going to be there. Wainwright takes his time, turns up ice, goes round Beach with a good pass. Parsons, seen off there. Great poke check coming in from Simpson. Little redirect there from Hager. Wainwright reads it well though, keeps possession alive. Skates it in, finds someone low slot. Perks takes a shot. Ooh. Great save there from Guilfoyle. Perks has managed to keep that puck alive. No, it's crossed the blue. Hager trying to find the stretch. And again, Beach with that pace. We know he likes to play high. Yeah, it's, the Dragons are showing some little bit of their, their teeth at the moment early on, and it's nice to see. But of course, Hull Jets should have to measure them after that last confrontation. So a minute already gone in this power play. Dragons yet to really capitalise on the odd man advantage. 17.06 in this first remaining. Trying to find a stretch pass to Resnicek. Do so. Resnicek. Takes a shot. Oh. Gilfoyle coughs that up. Oh. Well, a little bit of acrobatics in the crease. I must say, Ben, I wouldn't like to be in the end of one of those uh, resin check shots. They're coming very, very fast. And we've got another call, and that's going to be a cross check. Yeah, they seem to be frustrating these Jets players at the moment. And already two players have gone to the box. And that appears to be number 26, Alex Foreman. So Foreman takes two for the Jets and keeps the power play alive for the Dragons. And we're going to get ourselves a little bit five on three. But the Jets want to try and sustain some of this pressure. They've got to keep the Dragons away now. There's one opportunity they've got so early in the game. Five on three. Can the Dragons open their account early? Working that puck round well, good. Cycling, trying to find Austin, takes the shot oh. over the deflection, Reznicek, oh, dear. and he's got him on the back door. Reznicek was there, sitting, just waiting for that to come in. Any loose bits, and he picked up the loose change, slotted it into the back of the net, and already the Dragons are on the scoreboard early. It's now Eastside Dragons 1, Old Jets nil. Face off to get us back underway after that Dragons goal. Immediately Dragons back in possession. That goal brings out one of the Jets players with a five on four situation as Foreman still sitting that pine. So the Dragons have still got a chance here. The power play advantage for them. Can they 
really open up. A good start on the Jets as Hull do well to clear the zone there. And they're approaching the minute mark now on the Foreman penalty. Wainwright calmly behind his own net. Feeds that to Fernable. Fernable given to Parsons who's just crept offside. And that's going to bring an end to that play. Fifteen forty in the first remains. 51 seconds left on the power play in favour of the Dragons. Served to Alex Foreman for cross-checking. Dragons go ahead with that Resnicek goal off the last power play. Can they make something of this one? Looking to build up. Slow build up though, Jones. A little bit of four-check pressure there from Hager, but he's found Shaw. Shaw, Resnicek in the slot, manages to find Spreaking oh. fans on the shot. And oh. Jones there uh, does well to keep control for the Dragons, but he's got to wait until all his players come on side. Reznicek showing his smooth hands in. and oh. they've pulled Spridgen for creeping over. That's so close. So, 17 seconds left on the power play. Still 15.05 remains in this period. Neutralised face-off. And the officials just having a quick word there with Mr. Bacon over his equipment, making sure. Seventeen seconds left in this power play. Fifteen oh four in the first period. Quick clearance down on net. Sees Bolwell some action. And now Bacon up the right wing uses the board, stumps that in. It's going to be there for Plant to chase. Gets hold of it. Plant back stick. Penalty expires. Back to full strength hockey. And immediately Hager can't beat that man out. We're going to get ourselves a nice in call. Face-off in the whole defensive zone. Reznicek goes in for the face-off. Oh. Great shot. Austin wasn't able to keep that alive. Reznicek gets over for support, though. Great back stick there to find Shaw. Dragons once more back in possession. 13.36 now on that clock. A little to and fro in the neutral zone as Austin in possession uses the boards there. It's an up and over for Spridgen. Cuts inside. Finds Shaw. Can't control that. And it's allowed Hager in who's cleared that down. Reznicek helps that on. Quick line change in for the Dragons. Shaw now trying to apply some forward checking pressure. Oh, good body on there. Sent that man down to the ice. Allowed. Jones to come over. And we've got an interference call. Well, that's Shaw going to the box and he's allowing Hull Jets. Two minutes. Twelve fifty-eight in the first period. James Shaw sitting a two-minute penalty for the Dragons, an interference call means that the whole Jets are now on the power play. In the corner. Working that puck round well. Robinson takes his time. Finds Foreman who goes to put that puck in. It's deflected up off Furnival's stick and out of play. Face off, left hand side of Bolwell. 146 still on the power play for the Jets. Quick shot in, Bolwell sees it. Oh. It's in a, a dangerous position for the Dragons. Jones gets over there, tries to get his stick in the way. Still in possession for Hull. Krishnarinko slashing away at his man. 
And now Hager for the Jets. Robinson, wide open, little flick of the puck. Hager, oh. great leg pad save from Bolwell. She saw a snippet of the puck there through that window of players and the puck's going to be fired out of play. Face off, right hand side of Bolwell. Still Jets on the power play, 1-12 on the clock. 12 minutes, 8 left in the period. Great save again from Bolwell as Giba took the shot this time. And now the tied up on the boards, fighting away and it's come loose. Resnicek tried to aid that on, but the Hull have got possession once more. Put the puck back in, works its way all the way around to the boards. Wayne Wright. Applying the pressure. Resnicek does well. That's textbook clearance there for Radim. Gilfoyle just puts his blade down and controls that. Ward. Tries to find Forster. Perks Forster foot race. And it's well cut out there by Perks. Again, clearing that all the way down for Ward. 23 seconds remain on the power play. Ward uses Hackford back to Ward. Miscommunication. Allows the Dragons in to clean that up. And now Perks calmly plays that out. Furnival knocks it on. It's intercepted by Hackford. Picked up once more. Has a skate down with Beach. Beach has got his head down. His legs going. Lays it off for Hager. Oh, oh, skating in on the back post there was Hackford. Yeah, they're knocking on the door already, these Jets. Well, back to full strength. And now Wainwright tries oh. to find Parsons. He just knocks that on. And Wainwright's going to control that puck. Oh, he's giving it away. It's a mistake that's allowed Beach in. Beach! Oh, well defended. Krushnarinko gets in the way of that. Well defended, that. And now the Jets still asking questions as Taylor spins and takes a shot. Deflections come back. Parsons gets around his man. Still in possession, Parsons. Ducks for the wraparound, no one there. Hulk, get a stick in the way. Managed to clear that way, here's Hager. Down the left wing, cuts inside, takes a shot. Great save, Bolwell. Once more, another shot in from the point. And Bolwell's going to seal that out. Krushnarinko there having words with Taylor. Face off right to Bolwell. 8.34 remain in this period. Dragons absorbing the pressure so far from Hull. But have that go-ahead goal as Haggett tries to find Robinson near side. It's going to be picked up by Austin. Calmly skates back, looks to play around his man. Does so with Lovell. Lovell again on the board. Gets around Hager. Goes round Taylor. Looks to backhand it into the slot. But it's read well by the whole defensive unit. And they're just going to control that puck and take it back. Hull. As Beach, big stretch pass to Robinson. Reels at iron. Has Perks. Great body on from Perks. Shut Robinson down. And now Regan Taylor for the Jets. Pushes that up to Hager who puts it, puts it across and now Furnival though. Ben, it's like the Dragons are all over the whole Jets. Whenever they got the puck, they seem to be quickly in there. It's nice to see it's a change type of Dragon formation. This it, it, yeah, they're, they're certainly, you know, applying a lot more pressure. The forecheck is there. Was it, oh, oh, great save there from Bowell again. Little pass into the slot. So Robinson with that quick shot. And now Parsons puts some pace on. Takes it up through the slot himself. Oh. Shot sails wide as Guilfoyle gets his glove up ready for that. Fernival tries to find Jones. Just picked her up in the corner, puts it over. But the hull are going to intercept that loose puck. Skating away. Oh, oh. That's Giba. He's brought down. Well, definitely getting a call here. Well, he went down very quickly. It looked like he got caught there. And that's going to be Mike Jones going to the box for the Dragons. Face off. Left-hand side of Bolwell, 6.55 remain in the first period. 
And we've got a penalty assessed to Michael Jones of the Deeside Dragons. It'll be two minutes for holding. So that puts the Jets on a power play. And Wayne right now intercepts that puck. Pushes it forward for Resnicek. Resnicek draws all the attention. Takes the shot Whoa. though. Father Gill gets his stick. Uh, sorry, Father Gill. Gilfoyle. Got to say, it was a little bit of a tame shot that from uh, Resnicek. Breeze. Remember, Gary, they are on the... On the penalty kill. Quickly, the Jets answer back though. Great yeah. backhand clearance there from Wayne Wright. Resnicek chips that on. Out the way of Foreman. And Dragons can breathe a sigh of relief with 1.22 remaining in the power play. Yeah, with just over six minutes remaining in uh, this period, you can see the Jets are desperate to try and get something out of this. Ward skates it into the corner. Looks to go inside. Oh. Red well by Bowlwell. She gets the glove down, seals that out. As we approach the minute mark on the penalty, we're inside. Six minutes now. Again, another shot on. Oh, Looking for the loose change there. And Bowell stands tall. Face off. Left hand side of Bowell. Gieber back on the ice now for the Jets. 54 seconds remain on that power play though. Tie up in the middle. Parsons. Managed to get it over the centre line. Robinson feeds that back in though. Hager looking for the quick pass to Beach near side. They found it. Beach now tied up at the point. Again. Knocking on that door. Looking for the quick redirection shot but Bowell's reading them well tonight Robinson for the Jets 23 seconds now remain on the power play miscommunication Fernival's found Parsons Parsons skates it in back oh, out no. Bill Foyle stands tall and we've got a well Robinson Fernival are over there Robinson was just clearing his zone Gilfoyle was down Robinson comes over trying to clear Parsons out the zone He's managed to put both of them into the net, though, and Fernival certainly got words to say about that. Yeah, Bentham, Mr. Bentham, trying to keep uh, Fernival away there from Fodergill, but oh no, from Robinson, and uh, handbags are twenty paces. <laughs> so we're going to get ourselves a face-off in the whole zone, left-hand side of Gilfoyle. Nothing comes of the. The handbags between Fernoval and Robinson as Perks puts that into the corner. Final 10 seconds of the power play. And this Dragons penalty kill unit have done well to absorb the pressure. Dare I speak too soon? Beach finds Hager back to five men. Takes his time, oh. Hager. Jones <laughs> straight back on the ice into the play and clears the puck down. Yeah, ball well done enough just to touch that away. And that's going to be an icing call with 4.44 left on the clock. Face off, right hand side of Bolwell, two number fives in the face off. Taylor does well to win that for the Jets once more. 4.40 now remain in his first period. Dragons with that oh, he's... advantage at the moment as they've tried to find Taylor. Taylor puts it back in. Hackman. Oh, right across. Well, come off the leg pads of Bolwell. Don't think she realised. There was nobody there at the back door though to tap it in. Hackford does well to hold up two Dragons in the corner as Jones comes over and intercepts. Helped on there by oh. uh, another offside there for Parsons and it's the silly little mistakes that are costing the Dragons at the moment. Face off, left hand side of Bolwell, deep in the Dragon zone. Change of face off. Oh! Allows Lovell in. Oh, it's bouncing around that zone. Wayne right clearing the paint. <laughs> Again, it doesn't, matter, down. it doesn't matter how you do it, just get that play out of the way. Plant, use the boards, finds Bacon. Bacon's got his feet going. Wait, oh, oh geez, it's in! Oh my goodness! Oh, Bacon! <laughs> well, that was sliced in there. How did he get that shot in off the byline? Reminiscence of uh, our playoff game where With Bradford. Kemp. Yeah, Kemp did that for Bradford. You've got to say, that's a difficult shot to take. But Bacon gets that puck right from the side and does the impossible, slots it in and gives the Dragons an extended lead here. It's Dragons 2, hold Jets nil. Mr. Williams gets us back underway. Lovell 
and Robinson take the face off Beach immediately that's come off Wayne right behind the dragon's neck Gary pass me that script while I rip it up <laughs> I do not think Hull were planning for this the Dragons fans in full voice after that bingo it's dangerous mistake oh. Hager well ball well take a bow Hager tried to use his silky hands in front of net there I'd have put money on Hager putting that away yeah there. he waved the one there but well ball oh. well read it well at once more and we're not finished yet by the look of it Taylor as Lady Luck dives over and grabs that puck out the air for the Dragons well Dragons doing well to absorb late pressure here from Hull Reznicek is being thrown out of the face off and sent to the box you can Reznicek I think the Dragons are asking does he have to be Reznicek or can any Dragon sit it and it looks like now Spridgen is going to the box so that's going to be assessed to the Dragons yeah, Andy Ward was asking the official there for the uh, what what the call was and what the ruling is. But it's clear. For whatever reason, Reznicek doesn't have to go in. So, late in this first period, power play to the Jets. Take the shot in. Ooh. Ball well, turns it out. Tried to find Jones. Reznicek, foot race. Taylor takes the shot wow. again. And it shoots on sight at the moment for the Dragons. Uh, the thing is, this Ward. is the one opportunity the whole Jets have got. 133 now remain in that power play. Reznicek once more. Caught there and put on the ice by Taylor. Tries to find Ward near side. Ward in control of the puck for the Jets. Puts it right across the face of the net. And it's yet again steered out. Reznicek does well, and he's just going to control after the Dragons. Fine, Shaw, Shaw, one man to beat. Great little poke check there from Kane Taylor. Brings down Shaw. Both men slow getting up off the ice. Shot comes in, Bolwell sees that. Inside a minute of that penalty, Taylor hobbles his way to the bench. Shaw straight back up on his skates, though. And it's going to be picked up by Robinson. Two minutes show in this period. We're inside the two minutes as Beach skating down on Bolwell, looks to cut inside. Wayne right there to shut the door on him. 35 seconds now remain in the power play. Jets throwing everything into this final push. Trying to get some momentum, trying to do something. And the Dragons having an absolute amazing first period. Great shift by all the skaters on the ice. But here come the Jets once more. Oh, well blocked. Taylor picks it up out in front of the Dragons bench, feeds for the um, Forrester. Looks behind the net is Beach Hager. Robinson's at the blue line. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to full strength. And that mistake's allowed the Dragons in. We're inside. One minute eight now. In this final couple of minutes on the period. And Gary, you've got to say. The Dragons, as they cough that once more, we're into the final minute. Looking out in front, Furnival, and Guilfoyle stumps on that. So, what is Andrew Ward now going to say to his team when they enter that locker room? Because that's two goals down in the first period. And although D-side didn't play last night, and Hull did, there's no excuse for some of the, the sloppy passing that's caused them the turnovers. Well, no, I mean, the, last night's game, apparently they had a great shot ratio against the, uh, the the Tigers, but couldn't finish. It seems to be failing them a little bit tonight as well. Well, that's going to be a face-off win for the Dragons. Once more, playing that round of the Jets. Play it inside to Hackford. Hackford takes a shot. Straight into the glove of Bolwell. Right-hand side of Bolwell, 32 seconds. Face off, crucially won by D side. Wainwright does well to turn that out. Once more, clears it. Keating oh, nice reels catch. that in, dumps it off for Reznicek. Oh. 20 seconds on the clock as Reznicek takes that shot. Right down the his chef. throat there. Face off, won by Hull. 
15 seconds remain now in this period. Can Hull do anything? All the Dragons looking for a third. Keating tries to find the man. Resnick check inside and Guilfoyle keeps him alive with five seconds left on the clock. Resnick check having words now. I just think it's uh, just general banter, nothing malicious. Well, that's Anson. So Shaw and Hager in for the face-off. Hager, again, another crucial win there for Hull. Trying to find Beach on the stretch. There's your buzzer. Well, Gary, what a period that was. Well, you've got to take it. The Dragons certainly go into their game plan. Gary Shaw set out his stall. He knows what he had to do, he did it. He said it in the last episode of Drop the Puck, that they knew what to do when they were playing Hull in their own barn. Looks like they're pretty much doing it out again tonight in their own venue. So, what can you say? A 2 0 lead going into the period break. He's got to be happy with that. He certainly have. And, uh, you know, it, it, I mean, but it is only the first period, though, Gary, and that's a key part. And you can catch the second period right after this commercial break. Unarmus Sportswear. Sponsors have dropped the puck. and Sun sponsor drop the puck. So, as you can see there, the scoreboard, 16 shots taken by the Dragons, 14 by the Jets, and those two extra shots, Gary, are the two goals that the Dragons are ahead by as we go into the second period. Yeah, it's the, if they can keep this pressure up, uh, it's going to bode them well in the table. But again, like we said at the start, Jets have only suffered two losses and one of them's already been against the Dragons. Well, Mr. Williams calls the teams to the centre as we get ready to drop the puck at the second period. Immediately, Beach gets in there trying to cause trouble for the Dragons, but the Dragons in possession. Parsons tries to find Furnival, does so. Furnival into the corner, tries to backhand that. Spence cuts him out. Picked up there by Keating, takes a shot. Ooh. Tried to five-hole Guilfoyle. He just drops and seals that out. Great start there by the Dragons. Yeah, they're looking to... Uh, the Jets trying to get an early goal if they can for the Dragons. Uh, Dragons are going to put pressure on that net again, I think. Keating takes it into the corner, gets around Spence, still Keating, times it, uses Parsons, who looks for Furnival skating into the slot. And now they've let Jets in on possession, can't reel that in. And a pass goes away straight into the stick. A Wainwright who puts that back in, it's going to be received by Spence and the Jets. Beach. Trying to find Hager, does so. Great little stick down there from Wainwright. Make sure that puck was redirected away from danger. And now Perks brings that round. It's come off the stick of Shaw. Officials not giving that as Mr. Clark finds the ice. <laughs> Resin check. Puts it back in. Ebert plays that around for Hackford. Hackford, time to get his head up. Still manages to find a Dragons player though with oh. Jones. It's picked off though. Hackford again shot in. Jump down on that. And it's going to be a great little save there from Bolwell. Face off left hand side of Bolwell. Resnick check versus Hager in the draw. Good draw in again for Hager. And the Jets all over the face off circle tonight. But they're just not able to. Make anything of it with 16.42. 
left in this second period. Resnicek oh. cutting his way through the Jets team. Decides to take the shot early. It's come off. Anson. And into the corner goes Plant. Tries to use the board to put it back in. Anson holds that up for Hager. Back to Anson. Plant and Anson. No, nope. Hager gets around Shaw. Picked up by Jones at the point. Jones keeps the play alive. Skates it in a little bit. Tries to dump it in, but he's allowed Simpson in. Cleared out once more. Oh, shot oh. in. Straight down and throws the ball well. Krishna Rinko's there with Taylor, is it? Oh dear. Well, Perks, Robert Perks and Cameron Krishna Rinko. Mike Jones as well, is it? Got his helmet off. And already he's been uh, ushered away there. And Perks being sent back his bench by the officials. Well, things are getting a little bit, a little bit saucy, a little bit naughty. A little bit heated. And it's kind of expected, really, because the Jets must have uh, been told they need to go out there, they need to fight for this game. So, face-off, right-hand side of Bolwell now in the Dragons' defensive zone. Dragons win the face-off this time. 16.02, show on the clock. Plans, he's going to chase that down. Foot race between Plant and Beach. Oh. Well, they're going to blow that up. So, face off from the centre circle. After that little break in play, and Plant knocks off forward, gets around Spence. First man there is Foreman, though, for the Jets. Feeds. Robinson's quick pass to Beach and Hager. Here they come. Oh. Hager! Great pass across the face of goal for Beach and Kieran Beach, unable to get his stick on it in time. Robinson keeps it in once more, finds Beach behind the Dragons net, who's taken out the play. And now the Dragons on the attack, trying to feed that pass through there to Plant was Austin, but Beach has kept that puck in the zone for the Jets. Finds Haggart, he's going to go round the net. Puck's rushing away, Spence back to receive that for the Jets as Furnival with the pressure quick line change Beach catches them on the overlap shot in oh and Wainwright's not happy the fact that Beach followed that up there well I've got to say Ben Jets are looking like the Jets of old there 14-48 on the clock right hand side of Bolwell's net in the dragon zone two number fives face off once more it's gone in the favour of Hull Hackford trying to get that puck in. Perks all over him. Shot comes in. And there's definitely an increase in tempo, Ben. Geber works that puck round. And we've got a call. That's a cross check. And it's going to be on James Parsons of the Dragons. Wow. Unusual to see James Parsons heading to the penalty box. But if you do the crime, you save the time. So with a face off to the left hand side of Bolwell in their offensive zone now. Well, I was going to say the Jets have the man advantage, but Reznicek immediately off the face off puts a stop to any advantage, dumps our puck straight down, and the Jets are forced to go back into their own zone and try and build something up. Krishnarinko and Reznicek teaming up there to steal a puck, and Radim Reznicek again. Gary, I know we talked about him last show. He's all over the ice tonight. Yeah, his work rate's been really impressive tonight. Just as he gets his blade on the on that, chase that down, Shaw's oh. there. Out of the net comes Gilfoyle. Oh. Shaw just misses. Oh. Oh. And the Dragons certainly got the number of the Jets here. Fernival straight onto the ice after that line change. Hackford does well, takes it inside. Reeled in by Geber. He's laid it off for Hager. Hager. Uses the boards, dumps it round. Jets now trying to set up in the Dragons' defensive zone. And the puck bubbles out of play once more. Well, the one. Jets can't afford to be making silly mistakes like that. They may as well tie the gift bell on that there because they nearly give away another goal. So, 50 seconds of this power play remains as Boris Gieber's back behind his own net there. Keating with the four-check pressure. Beach 
Head up, tries to find Hager. Oh, just too far. He's going to allow Krishnarinko in. Hackford kicks his foot out, keeps the play alive, but he's giving it to Furnival. Furnival, he's got Giebe, takes a shot. Oh! Gilfoyle stands tall. And now the Dragons looking to absorb more pressures. On again, Taylor. Oh, Great well stick saved by Bolwell. Into final 15 seconds of this power play now. And the Jets looking to get something out of this. Taylor again looking for the little redirect. It's Hackford in front of the net. Well, it'd be gutted if they get nothing. And there's a second official hits the ice tonight. <laughs> again, out front. Oh, well. Well, she sees that last minute. He gets down on that. And the penalty's expired. Yeah, Parsons heads to the team bench. And, and you've got to say to yourself, Ben, the Jets have got to be gutted that they didn't get something out of that power play. They've got to be, they've got to be more precise. At the tempo is high. Both teams are really gunning for this. We're getting ourselves a face-off right hand side of Bolwell. Dragons with the face-off win. Hull Jets shoot wide. Again, Spence. Sloppy pass picked up by Lovell. And he's just going to Put his puck on, his stick on that, and that puck's coming all the way down the other end. Picked up by Foreman. Plant tries to get in the way there. He's managed to knock it round once more. Austin's going to be the first man back for the Dragons. Chased down by Hackford, though. Bacon does well to receive that in and tries to flick it forward for Plant. And they've let in Taylor. Kane oh. Taylor, he's just crept offside. Well, that's the kind of play that we used to see in by the Jets. Lovely one-touch passing. Just getting a little word to there for shooting after the uh, the whistle. Bacon certainly not happy with that. Face-off neutralised. Going to be Reznicek and Hacker for it. Again, Hacker pushes up forward, but the Dragons are going to be the first ones there. 11.47 now remaining in the second period. Very... Quick periods, very few penalties. Austin knocks that forward. Spridgen does well to reel that in, still in possession. Spridgen rubbed out the play there. And it's picked up by Shaw, oh. tied up with the man on the floor. Had his pocket picked there. And Robinson does well to just take the sting out of that Dragon's flow. Knocked it forward for Robert Perks. Perks of the Jets and Jones. Behind the Dragons' net. Loose puck picked up once more by the Dragons. Little bit of miscommunication between Reznicek and Jones here. But it's the Dragons that have come in. Sure. Manages to knock it on for Reznicek. It's Reznicek. Round oh. his man. Great hold-up play there. That was Anson. Yeah, it's, uh, certainly saved a shot there. So 10 minutes 50 now on the clock. Hex does well just to hold the play up allowing the line change. Spridgen oh. comes together with Anson right out in front of our camera there. And Pex being held up there by Robert Pex. Shot oh. in again. Bolwell with enough time to get her leg pads down and turn that away. And now Parsons on the puck. Knocks that forward, picked up again by the Jets. Hager decides to take a loose shot in. It's going to be Krishnarinko, takes his time. Spridge in again, body on her from Beach. Krishnarinko tries to clear it to Fenival at the point, but it was Robinson and the Jets who put that in there. Great shot in from Hager. Once more, Dragons all over these Hull Jets players, not really allowing them time to do anything. And I spoke too soon as Hager finds the back of the net. Well, the one guy you expect to do it for the Jets. And he does it again. Richard Hager putting the points on the board for the Jets. He takes that opportunity, slots it past Bowell, and brings Hull back into this. It's now Dragons 2, Hull Jets 1. Action back underway after that Rich Hager goal. Immediately face off win for the Dragons, but it's going to be Holt trying to intercept that again. Parsons with the puck. Goes round the net. 
into the corner. Cuts back across, it's going to be picked up there by Robinson. Tries to find a stretch pass for the beach, but Wainwright cuts that out. Beach again, lateral pass, picked up by Keating. Now Robinson, Parsons reads it well. It's round Taylor. Hager, it's a two on one. Here's Beach, takes a shot. Oh, oh no! Well, and just like that, Hull are back in the game. Yeah, he takes that shot, receives the pass. One on one virtually with Bowell. Fires that shot straight between her legs. She thinks she's got it, but the Hull have got it in the back of the net, and it's now Dragons two, Hull Jets two. Back to centre ice to drop the puck once more. After that Kieran Beach goal. 9.03, show on the clock, remain in the second period. Literally, space of a couple of seconds between the goals and Hull found form late in the second. Well, it just goes to show, Ben, only takes a couple of minutes and you could be back in this game with the right kind of pressure, the right kind of players. Now Hull looking for a third as they step that up again. Great shot on Bolwell. Receives that well. Well, and we got it. Got ourselves a bit of judo going on. <laughs> well, straight in there is Andy Ward. It was Kane Taylor who skated in. And it looked like Krishnarinko. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the officials sort this out because I don't know, some kind of hip throw or. <laughs> and it looks I'm like it is. Krishnarinko has been brought over for a talking to there. Well, I'm really surprised no one went to the box there. Quick line change for the Dragons, 8.33. On the clock in the second, Reznicek goes in against Hager. Reznicek does well, another oh. shot in again. And those face-offs proving crucial. Set up once more, goes for the back oh, door. Oh, no! <laughs> Reznicek gets his stick down there. Dragons nearly give the Jets another goal. Jones oh. sends Beach to the ice and back up as they're fighting in the corner. Fans on the pass, it's Krishnarinko tries to find Reznicek, taken out of his reach by Taylor. Into the corner goes Hansen, takes his time, finds Hager. Hager's got support coming in, Krishnarinko trying to keep the door shut, goes down, takes the shot and it's in! Rich Hager! Well, what can you say? It's been coming. They've been showing it all through this second period so far. They're showing why they're the number two ranked team so far in this conference. Hager puts the points on the board. And it's now Dragons two, Hull Jets three. So we get action back underway once more. After that, second Rich Hager goal. Quick shot on net. Bolwell will put that down. Wainwright feeds that up. And it's going to go to no one. I think we're going to get ourselves a call here. Perks is skating over there. No, nope, they've waved it off. Robinson does well to hold up Wainwright. Knocked on for Robert Perks of the Jets. Goes to take a shot off the leg pads of Billy Perks and the Dragons. Bolwell sticks that away. Keating. Receiving pressure from Kieran Robinson now. And the Dragons just caught short behind their own net. Can't get that pass across. Perks once more puts that in on the Dragons net, off the backboards behind. As Billy Perks clears that down, seven minutes left in this second period. Then the Dragons seem to have taken their foot off the pedal a little bit. A little bit of second period syndrome maybe. Face off in the dragon zone, right to Bolwell. Again, another draw win for the Hull. Shot comes on, sticked away by Bolwell. Jets put that behind the dragon's net, looking for the quick pass into the slot. Hackford now in the corner, takes his time, uses the man skating in support. Another shot comes in. Bolwell's got a watertight seal on that post. And the fans trying to get behind the Dragons now. And again, Billy Perks of the Dragons back and forward in board battles there. 
Ooh. Another shot in. Doing well. Trying to find space to shoot. It's off a stick. Still in the ring. Hackford turns his man. And the Dragons finally able to oh. play that puck just a little bit. Taylor gifted the puck, takes a shot. Well, every Ball time off, every time you turn, a Dragon tries to turn and make a play or a pass. There's a whole player waiting there to receive that puck. And they put an immense amount of pressure on that Dragon's net in this second period. Face off will be left of ball. Well, 6.04 remain in the second period. Again, once more, it's drawing in favour of the Jets as Beach behind. Dragon's net well on with the puck. Great board battle there with Krushnarinko, but it's the Jets that have come out with it. Looking for support. Goes back to Hager. Back across the oh! slot. Beach just <laughs> skated in unmarked. And now Lovell tries to get Beacon going. He's got him over and it's going to be a call there. And the officials... A little bit jumpy on the whistle there. Well, we just replay that where that shot just comes across the goal. Beach, unaware, he could have just tapped that in to advance them even more. But still 2 3 in favour of the Jets. Face off, left hand side of Bolwell once more. Hagger and Lovell shot in again. Bolwell sees it out. And she's seen a lot of rubber in this second period. Gary's plant gets around his man. Robinson straight over though, picks up that loose puck. Geber takes his time, feeds that up for Beach. Beach has got Taylor out there. Will he take the shot? No. Does second time though, straight down the throat of Bolwell. So face off in the offensive zone for Hull. Hager and Parsons go in for the face off. Parsons wins it this time. Now Fernival takes his time to feed Keating. Keating, great pressure there. And that's Anson, he's turned it over. Robinson skating down on Parsons, causes the turnover out oh. in front. Well, dangerous times, and Jones does enough. They're sniffing on any loose puck there. Once more, skating away into his own zone. Tried to be cut out there by Parsons. Jones, forced back. Wainwright. There for support. Finds Fernival open. He's got some time. Oh. Keating takes a shot. Yes! Keating with a goal. Well, there it is. Keating gets fed that puck and smashes it into the back of the net and gives the Dragons a bit of a sigh of relief as they pull one back now. It's now. Dragons three, Hull Jets three, and we've got a game, Ben. Four twenty-eight on the clock, three goals apiece. And this one, Gary, this one's getting good. A Shaw picks that puck up, Resnick checking the slot, Resnick check backhand. Oh. Gilfoyle sees it late and keeps it out. And now the momentum has turned in favour of the Dragons as Hackford tries to play that forward still Hackford lays it off for Taylor Taylor backhand looking for Hackford's oh. back door cleared out by the Dragons once more but kept alive by Foreman Spridgen gets over on Taylor does well to turn that around oh, big out. stretch pass there to Shaw cut out and Shaw tries to use the board leads to nothing and Perks has got plenty of time to just evaluate the situation and play that puck out. Goes down the wing to Resnick. Oh, picked off! Taylor gets his stick in the way of that Resnick pass. Fed up to Shaw. Shaw gets around his man. He's got Spence to beat. Oh. Too much. And Spence well, reads that well. Resnick. Well played by the Jets there, picking that away. Oh! <laughs> Perks there. Costly turn it into oh, no. <laughs> And it's still Bolwell. She's diving all over the place. Nets off its moorings. And here we go. Taylor. It looks like Taylor and Perks there. Oh, we've got the gloves. The gloves have gone. Spridging. Taylor. <laughs> Bell rings. Round one. Well, who's going to step forward first? Because somebody's got to throw the first punch. 
And here we go. Oh, good punches going in by either, but Spridgen seems to have the race. advantage. Big race out from Spridgen. Oh, Taylor swings back with a race of his own. Oh, and it's a good couple of punches there by Spridgen. Good bout, boys. Good bout. Well, well done, gentlemen. You're giving something for the fans. As the officials, Mr. Bentham leads. Well, Kane Taylor to the bench. And we've got afters over there. There's, there's a few words being exchanged, but let's see that again. They yeah. took the time to get into that one. Yeah, Spridgen there, putting a few good punches in. Taylor answering back, though, with a good few of his own. And uh, that's just what the fans have been waiting for. This is a heated game. It's all level, everything to play for, and you get a fight as well. Dare I say, Gary, I've got my bib in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't say that. As the officials currently discuss what's going on, captain for the Dragons, James Parsons, just gingerly waiting for the results. So, after that great bout between two warriors, we get the action back underway with three minutes five left in the period. In the box currently, Charlie Spridgen for the Dragons, two minutes. Kane Taylor, two minutes for fighting each. Okay, and it's a two plus two for each. So, Jets now looking to set something up. And it's in! Oh. Well, Jets on a power play, and and you've got to you've got to give it to the Jets there. After that little scuffle, and of course that goal by the Dragons, they've come back now and they pegged one back on the board. And it's now Dragons three, Jets four. Can the Dragons come back and answer? Well, it also appears that there's a ten-minute penalty been assessed. It was a five on three situation and the Jets have capitalised. Face off. Action back underway. Puck over to the far side. Four step. Takes his time. Puts that on net. Goes wide though. Second shot comes in from Spence at the point. And again Ward. Ooh. Forster's there. Picks up the loose change. Tries to put it back in, but Wainwright in possession for the Dragons. Parsons tries to reel that in then. And now we're going back the other way once more. Wainwright in the corner. Defensive duties being called upon. Parsons gets his stick in the way, cuts that initial shot out. Wainwright fighting away. He's won possession. Tries to find Parsons on the stretch. Can't keep the puck alive. And it's going to be Jones back for the Dragons. Well, Ben, the Dragons have shown they can do it when they need to as that puck almost takes out our, our, one of our camera guys um, the Dragons have shown they can do it they just seem to have taken their foot off the pedal a little bit again 135 now remains in this period goal go on the head by the Jets can the Dragons find something as good body on there managed to clear it out Austin can't reel that in it's going to be chased down by Hackford Austin Gets his stick on it, finds Wainwright. Wainwright redirects to Furnival. Furnival knocks that forward for Keating. Keating surrounded into the corner. 110 left. Oh. Back door was Resnicek. He takes out a couple of players. <laughs> and now fighting away. Dragons, late pressure. Again, Resnicek. Oh. Shot goes wide. Furnival can't keep it in. Wainwright does so. Into the corner, takes his time, across, across the slot once more. Keaton couldn't get a stick down inside the final minute. It's going to be Austin, quick line change for the Dragons. 40 seconds. Can the Dragons get something late in this second period? Resnicek lets that run. Robinson's there. Sure, straight round though. He's got possession of the Dragons. Krishnarinko, it's off his stick. Oh. It's turned out. Krishnarinko once more. Perks bearing down on him. 20 seconds now remain in the period. Tries to find Shaw. Shaw gets tied up out in front of the whole bench. I think that's going to be pretty much the period inside 10 seconds. Oh, 
Parsons gets around his man, gets around his second one. Five seconds, he's going to have to shoot. Parsons. Oh, it's in. Oh, in a second. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and in the dying seconds here, at the second period, James Parsons takes that solo effort down the right-hand side to the left of the netminder and slots it past. Oh, my goodness. He's almost took my breath away. It's now Dragons 4, Hull Jets 4. Well, Gary, all we're going to have time for left it now is Mr Williams to drop the puck just to honour out the play. Just like that, they're going to let the buzzer go. Dare I say it, Gary, the way we're facing at the moment, four goals apiece. This has got overtime written all over it. Well, the thing is, Ben, what you've got to remember here is Dragons scored two in that period. The Jets scored four points in that period alone. They've just started to wake up. I think we've got more action to come like that. You can see it all right here on Drop the Puck. Join us after this short break. Dunarmus Sportswear. Sponsors of Drop the Puck. Breaks and Sun sponsor drop the puck. Face off, right hand side of Gilfoyle. Dragons chasing that puck once more around the zone of the Jets, and they've managed to push that puck all the way down past the net of Ballwell. Wayne Wright, first man there. Keating. Loses possession out as Parsons puts the body on Giba. Pert finds Parsons. Parsons, can he get around with Robinson? He does. Still Parsons cuts back oh. inside. He's brought down, shot in. It's denied. It's gone off the back of the net. Parsons holds up, tries to find Furnival. Oh. Does so. Great save, Gilfoyle. Almost looked very tame, that shot, compared to the ones in the second period. Fernival knocks that in now. Going to be received by Robinson. It's Dragons come out punching early. Resnicek chased down by Taylor. Gets his legs going. Takes the shot. Oh. Gilfoyle does well to get his glove up late. Chris Narinko puts that towards the net. Going to be received by Robinson. Big stretch pass off the board. Just trying to pin back these whole jets, aren't they? And a quick look at the board tells us uh, that last period increased the shot count. Dragons have had 23 shots this game, four goals for it. The Jets, though, 35 shots, sorry. 35 shots, only four goals to show for it. So Gilfoyle, the busier netminder. And now the Jets once more in the Dragon zone, but the Dragons just calmly taking the time with Jones looking to set something back up Lovell on the boards great interception by Hackford play by Krishna Rinko that allows Lovell in Lovell feeds Shaw who backhands that to Resnicek who's round his man oh. he's taken out the play there by Spenso it's allowed the Jets back in Hackford puts a puck into no man's land Krishna Rinko picks it up and it's oh. a sneaky offside for Shaw and he's going to put a stop to that play Face off, neutralise. Parsons with the draw win for the Dragons. Bacon puts that into the jet zone. Robinson doing his defensive duties. Oh. Finds Beach. Beach. He's only got Wayne Wright to beat. Takes oh, the shot. It's in. Oh, well, Kieran Beach. Oh. He's buttered that up and slid it past Parsons. And Sam Bowell's absolutely gutted with that. 
the puck came in, deflected off her leg, and went in, and that's all it takes. So Kieran Beach extends the lead here for the Jets. It's now Dragons four, Hull Jets five. Back to neutralise. Face-off gets us back underway after that Kieran Beach goal. 17.05 remain in the game. Big hit. Oh, Parsons has been sent into the box. As in, the body has put him up and over. You can see Spridgen still in there for the Dragons, though. And this game's physicality has just taken a massive leap. Oh, back across the face of goal. Jets going for all. Great save there by Bolwell. That'll give her a boost of confidence again. Beach again looking for that. Well, the Jets are absolutely kicking and screaming at the door now. Play's going to get called back there, and Parsons, quite rightly, has gone back to his bench for a bit of downtime. Yeah, it was very, very aggressive, but that's what it's going to be like. Tell I, sorry, Parsons still on the ice. We knew it was going to get physical, and both these teams know how to do it. 16.30 on the clock. Both number fives going in for the face-off. Parsons does well to hold that up. Plant straight over support, feeds Bacon. Foreman though, well read and he's put that back in and now it's the Dragons having to absorb the pressure. Ward tries to use Hackford. And Perks fighting his way out. Taylor takes a shot into the glove of Bolwell. 15-20 show on the scoreboard. Face-off will be left right hand side of Bolwell in the dragon zone. Won by Reznicek for the Dragons as he goes over the other side of the rink and gets on that puck. Sure, foot race with Beach. Gets round there though, and it's a Jets who secure that. Looking for that stretch pass. Great cut out there by Jones. Lovell waits for his men to get back on side. Robinson of the Jets now. Looking to find Beach, does so. Jones turns, he's got Beach and Hager facing him. Wayne Wright and Hager. And they're going to go call offside there. Well, that was a close call there. Face off, neutral ice. Won by the Jets. Looking to find Hackford, who puts it into the corner. Chased down by Ward. Billy Perks for the Dragons, be the first man there. Uses the board, so Hackford keeps that play alive. Gets round. His man shot oh. in. Well, it's come straight back out, and Bacon, foot race with Foreman. Bacon makes sure his man goes into the boards, but the puck's gone the other way. Turned over though, Billy Perks for the Dragons. Puts it out in front of net, and Foreman calmly scoops that up. Lovell keeps the play alive. Taylor. Little tie up with Bacon, but it's a Jets again going the other way. Ward puts his stick on it. And we're very two will throw at the moment as although they have the goal advantage, neither team in proper control of this period so far, Gary. Yeah, the tempo's really, really high. It has been for the last period. This one especially. Hager for the Jets. As Bacon and Fernable. I'm sorry, Fernable gets his stick in there. Out in front of the net! Well, oh. Bowell does well to. Deny the, the sixth goal. And that's going to be an icing call. And Bacon is going for slashing. We'll call Bacon. Words with the official. Thirteen thirty-two on the clock. We're going to get ourselves a power play in favour of the Hull Jets. The penalty will be assessed to Cole Bacon of the D-Side Dragons. Slashing call. So Bacon's slashing call gives the Jets the two-minute advantage with 13.32 left on the clock. Shot comes in early. Redirected out in front of the face of goal. Wainwright gets there. Backhand clearance, breaks the zone. Parsons straight on it. 
He's got support, oh. trying to get across there. And he's taken out the play by Giba. He goes full flat on the ice. Beach finds Taylor. Beach still in possession. Drops it back, shot in. Oh, clever well, play. Giba's shot is saved well there by Bolwell. Thirteen oh six on the clock. Face off. Going to be right hand side of Bolwell. Resnicek wins that crucially for the Dragons as he needs to clear the zone. Wayne Wright ties up with Hager. Hager's found Beach. Beach's got plenty of time. Oh, Great save. save, Bolwell. Once again, though, the pressure's not over. Feeds back to Robinson at the point. Inside, Hager looking for the oh. redirect back door. Clock's ticking away. Oh. Again, Bolwell goes down. One minute ten left in the power play. Resnicek trying to keep that pass lane close to Robinson. Shaw gets over. Hager now taking his time. Oh, and again. And this is quite a prolific penalty kill unit they've got on the ice so far. Resnicek, Wayne Wright, Shaw. You can tell they're looking for a breakout, the Dragons. The frustrating thing is, though, Ben, that when the Jets Hager are passing... Hager to Robinson. Takes a shot. When the Jets are passing, they seem to get their passes across. None of the Dragons get to it. Shaw chasing his man down there. Hager back with the puck. We're inside 30 seconds of this power play now. Taylor takes his time. Oh. Feeds that back. Cut out there. And it's Keating. Well, Guilfoy is just going to come out of his net. Knocks that forward. Perks on the ice now. Goes back to Lovell. Takes his time. Use the boards. Robinson receives that in his defensive zone. 10 seconds left. Hager gets that puck. Tries to get round his man, takes a oh, shot! Oh, what a shot! Rich Hager! Oh, that's his hat trick, Gary. Turns that puck left, right, and then slots it calmly to the right hand side of Bolwell. With pace, she didn't have a chance, and now Hager has now got, is it four or three goals? Three goals tonight on his hat trick. And you can't blame him, one of the top scorers in this conference. Number one, and he's just shown why. It's now Dragons four, Jets six. Action back underway after that Rich Hager goal. His hat-trick goal for tonight. Lovell tries to push that forward for the Dragons. And we're gonna get ourselves an offside call. Face off, left-hand side of Guilfoyle. Won by the Dragons. Perks does well, keep that alive. Foreman takes his time though, clears it out. And there's been a penalty assessed to Taylor. So Kane Taylor goes to the box for the Jets and the Dragons on the power play for two minutes. Well, this is their opportunity to try and peg one back now, Ben. Bubble, well, big stretch pass over. Gilfoyle just gets down on that and shuts the play down. We're going to get ourselves a face-off, neutralise. 17 seconds remain on the power play. Still for the Dragons. Taylor sitting that holding call. 9.43 remain in the game. Still the Jets with those two go-ahead goals as the puck forced down on Bolwell's net. Now Krishnarinko leaves that for Esnicek. Fernival on the wing. Sorry, Jones. Pushed forward. Hager's going to receive that. Back to five men. Taylor rejoins the fray once more. Beach's first man to the puck though, takes his time, finds Taylor, intercepted though by the Dragons, forced to dump and clear the zone there, Resnicek gets round his man, he's in alone, puts it across the oh, slot, no one no, there, man, no. and Hager's going to receive that for the Jets and clear it, kept alive though by Lovell, Resnicek back again, takes a shot, oh what a, <laughs> well, Sniper shot there from Resnicek. Gilfoyle sees it late. A blind shot too as well. He swirled round. Fired that puck towards the Jets net. But it was calmly saved. And pressure averted. Face off down the whole zone. Taking their time. Great face off win there for the Dragons with Fernival. As Wayne right now takes that in. Into the corner, cuts inside. Trying to find someone in the slot. No, Dragons can't retain possession as Jets clear the zone. Back to Austin. Time running out for a comeback opportunity on the Dragons. 
Well, has look. gifted it. Guilfoyle. I wouldn't write him off yet, though, Ben. Turns that out. Great effort from Plant. And now the Jets bearing down once more. Foster across the face oh. of goal. Robinson unable to do anything with it. Little bit of board play. Fenerbahce gets to stick in. Bacon gets over. Puts the body on there. Foreman sends him to the ice. And now Fernival forced to get his stick all over that and clear it. Again, Bacon, body on Foreman. Austin puts it all the way down on net. Perks. Now Hackford for checking. Turn it over to Ward. Ward gives a puck straight back to the Dragons. Quick line changes all round. Wainwright takes his time. Knocked forward by Keating. Going to be picked up though by Anson. Uses Simpson once more. Feeds that forward. Hackford finds Ward. Ward gets his head up. Shoots. Oh, it's in! What a shot! And Ward just gladly takes that puck. Opportunity. Faces Bowell and slots it straight into the back of the net. And extends the lead here tonight for the Hull Jets. It's now Dragons 4, Hull Jets 7. And Gary, you've got to ask at what point, as Gary Shaw, do you look at swapping your netminder out? Um, I wouldn't swap her out because... As is the timeout called by the Dragons. Well, I, di I think this timeout is called because clearly the Dragons have been rocked a lot by what's gone on. Um, they're getting silly penalties which they can avoid themselves. But they know they've already scored on them. And that second period was dominated by the Jets. And it's happening again in the third. They need to get a point on the board quickly to stand a chance of coming back in this. Well, it's three goals for the good now for the whole Jets. As... That horn signals the end of the timeout. Both teams return back to play. And has Gary Shaw's team talk done enough to re-fire up his Dragons? Mr. Williams called both teams to the centre of the ice. Drops a puck and away we go again. Draw win for Parsons there, feeds Christian Rinko. Off the board down in front of the whole bench. All the way down to the corner for Simpson. Body straight on. Perks, that's just gonna go up. Still in the rink though. Fernival, it's Krishna Rinko, again used to the board, Parsons. Simpson's there, Keating gets his legs going, can he keep pressure on? Hackford just loses his edge, allows Dragons in, but it's a pass over the other side, Ward receives that. Hull fired up as much as the Dragons here. Fighting away his Taylor, behind oh. the net, puts it across the paint. Tries to do a wrap around there. Taylor once more, looking near side. Bolwell's got to go post to post. Chris Narinko and Hackford. As Hackford holds up. And that puck has travelled through that paint more times today than the Dragons would care to mention. Yeah. The thing is, I think the, I think the Jets are looking to get one more point on the board so that they've doubled the score on the Dragons. And then if I was the Jets, then I'd sit back then. Well, we're giving ourselves an icing call there. Face off, left, right hand side of Guilfoyle in the whole zone. Puck round to Taylor, picked up by Hager. Hager's got Wainwright and Jones to beat. He's beat them. Yes, yes. and Bolwell. And there you go. Hager again, is it? Block aside of Bolwell. He takes his time, skates it in, cuts between Jones and Wainwright. Turns it onto the back of his stick and lifts it over the blocker of Bolwell there. She's going to be distraught. But as you say, Gary, it's now the Jets with dual score of the Dragons. It's now Dragons 4, Jets 8. And I would certainly now, if I was a Jets coach, I'd be saying, right, let's park the bus for this last six minutes. Face-off gets the action once more underway with the Dragons' face-off win. Puck on net, and Guilfoyle holds on to that too long and it's frozen out. Face off, 5.48 left on the clock, deep in the whole zone. 
Picked up one by Jet to Spence. Tries to clear the zone. He's unable to. Dragons pick that up. Take a shot in. Oh. It's off Kilfoyle's glove. Bacon's first man in response. Uses the board. Plant's going to be there now for the Dragons. Which way will he go? He decides to go back and look for support in Lovell. Still fighting away. Still Plant on the puck. And now the Jets get in there and turn it up ice. And here comes Robinson. Robinson tries to go around Taylor. Taylor sends him wide around the net. Sends that back into the fray. Lovell does well. Fighting away for the Dragons. Puck towards Bolwell's net. Austin gets in there. Well, Ben, it's four unanswered points so far by the Jets. Bacon knocks that on. Behind the Jets net for Foreman. It looks Foster. like they've got control of this game now, Ben. Very much so. It was uh, anybody's game early on, but the Jets have certainly started putting the nails in the coffin, it's fair to say. There's Parsons for the Dragons. Just gifts that puck over. And Perks now dumps it in. It's going to be chased down by Parsons. Right the way around. Perks picks that up once more. Krishna Rinko knocks it back inside. Well read by Simpson of the Jets. And now it's with Ward once more. Ward! That's straight into the cage of Bolwell though. Face off. Dragon zone. One by the Jets. Big shot in. Runs wide. Spridging gets over. Back on the ice after all this time. Shaw leaves it for Esnicek. Looks to get it back in the slot. Shaw! What a save, Gilfoyle! What a play, Dragons! And that should have been the goal to start the motion. But you kind of feel that Lady Luck is wearing a Jet shirt. With 3.20 left on the clock now. Gieber... Puts that back, Spridgent chases it into the corner. To no avail. Puck out with Taylor. He's got three dragons around him. Gets through them. Still Taylor. Oh. Couldn't lay that puck off though. He's still in possession. He's just gifted it to Hager now in the corner. Body straight on. Resnicek fighting away with his man in the corner there. That's Beach. But it's Beach that's come out with it. Looking for some sort of tight angled shot. And Giba puts that back in. Hook all the way around to the opposite corner now. Picked up by Beach out in front of the Dragons bench. Turns Lovell. Lovell doing well to keep him tied up there. And the ref's just going to blow that one dead. Face off. Again, 2.26 left on the clock. One by the Dragons. Austin chases it into the corner. Forster there giving his troubles. But plant, it's come out with that. Plant turns up ice. Knocks it forward, takes the body for getting around his man. Foreman gets in there. Lovell's going to pick up that clearance. Puts it straight back in once more. Foreman and, and plans. Lovell straight in, injects himself in that play. Back out to Krishnarinko. Takes his time. Tries to shop, but it's off the leg pads there of Robinson. Perks takes the body out in front of the whole bench. And Perks isn't happy with that. Perks and Perks. But well, Krishnarinko straight over. Robert Perks and Cam Krishnarinko having words now. But Perks is playing um, a clever game there. He's not raising his arms, but he's being ushered back to his the Jets bench. And Perks has already been warned. We're getting confused now, sir. So Billy Perks being warned. Robert Perks being sent back his bench. And it would appear that Cameron Krishnarinko. He's going the box. Well, you get seen for the retaliation Two minutes normally. for cross-check. It's never normally the offender, it's always the uh, retaliator. And in this case, Krishna Renko give that extra shove on to uh, Perks. So with the riot act red to the Dragons, down to four as well. The call again reiterated. Cameron Krishnarinko, two minutes cross checking on the Dragons. Give the opportunity to the Jets. So that's going to be Krishnarinko for the rest of the game, unless the Jets score. 
as action resumes. Dragons doing well to clear that puck. It's only come down to Anson now. Anson uses Ward. Jets have only got to chew the clock up. Reach out over for Simpson. Simpson skates it on. Takes his time, lays it back for Ward. Ward takes a shot. Bolwell coughs that up straight on the ice though. Jones does well. Parsons flicks it over. Keating causes a little bit of confusion for the Jets, but they've got back possession. Ward again goes to take the shot off the leg pads of Wainwright. Keating's over there. Cut out by Austin and Jones. Robinson, oh, Simpson's off his leg pad, Fernand will try to chase that down inside a minute now. Hager winds up, takes a shot, goes wide. Taylor, again, puts it straight back across the slot, looking for a redirect from Hager, as Austin now takes it round, tries to feed it to Fernand, Fernand's there, Hager cuts him out though. And we're inside 30 seconds. 28 seconds left in this game, face off, won by the Dragons, pretty much in the bag now for the Jets. But still, Dragons putting up a little bit of a fight, try and get that deficit down. Puck cleared all the way down, Robinson's going to be the man over there to get that. Inside, 10 seconds now, Beach, neutralise, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Gary, that's your game. And what a game it's been. Well, four unanswered points by the Jets in this third period have sealed it for them, proving why they're ranked number two in this conference and putting them in a good place going into the final run into Christmas. Dragons, on the other hand, still early days for them, but still, they need to find some more wins if they're gonna try and claw out the bottom of this conference before Christmas and get sucked into that cellar dweller battle but right now it's time to go down to uh, towards the locker rooms get the views of the players and coaches of the game today right after this commercial break Dunarmus Sportswear. Sponsors have dropped the puck. and Suns sponsor Drop the Puck. Captain of the Dragons, James Parsons. James, disappointing loss there tonight, but you must have thought you were in it after the second. Well, I think for the first period we were, we were great. Probably the best period we've played all season so far. Second period just got away from us. Hull, were, Hull, Hull stepped it up and we just couldn't keep up with them, to be fair. You know, we got the two goals back. Before going into third, we'd we'll be able to do something, but it just got away from us again. So, yeah, Hull, Hull, Hull outplayed us tonight. Now, yourself there, you look like you're in the wars there tonight, especially that hit that put you over the boards. Are you okay after everything? I, I, I just jumped over me. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, any, any, anything for the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, obviously, attention's now turned. Sheffield, that's going to be a tough game. Yeah. What's going to happen now for the Dragons to get some points out of this? Well, you know, I think in most of the games we've played so far, we've been in the games, it's just getting over where we are at the moment, like, you know, going into third period four, well, we should have done something with it, but we never. So you know, Sheffield are a good side, but you know, every team in this league can beat each other, so it should be a good game. So, And tonight as well, we said it in commentary, Reznicek's really finding his feet now within the team. What's it like skating on there with him? Oh yeah, he's a great player, you know, he's really quick, you know, and he's got some great skill and he's all about a nice guy as well, so. And last but not least, can't not mention Sam. She had a really good game there in that tonight. A couple of tough shots, a couple of ones that got away from her. Everything all right in the locker room after that? Yeah, it is, it is what it is, isn't it? You know, we just this game just got away from us. It, it happens, you know. It's just unfortunate. It's happened a few times this season so far where we've we've uh, let ourselves down in the third period. But you know, we move on and we'll uh, 
go again against Sheffield. So. Well, we'll catch you again soon, James, and thanks. Yeah, cheers. And with Rich Hager of the Hull Jets, Rich, you've really got to be pleased with that performance. Yeah, it was a good, a good game today. Uh, we worked hard. Uh, it was difficult first period, but then second, third, we ground it out, made a few changes, and it, it worked for us, and we've got the win. So, obviously, you played Telford last night. You came all your victors there. Do you feel that the momentum carried through to tonight? Yeah, we're, we're starting to get something going really well at the minute. Um, we've got a good team here. We've got a big team. Uh, we've got a few youngsters coming through. and Obviously, we've got the experience uh, of the first couple of lines that we've got as well. So, uh, it's definitely coming up uh, good for us. So, was it game plan coming into tonight that led to the win? Or, I know you say you made a few changes there. Were, were the major changes? Um, no, not really. We, we work hard. We, we play well as a team and, and we dig in. So we made a, just a couple of changes on the lines that, that worked out and, and really changed the game for us. Um, I think with Jay dropping back into the D, a bit of a composure, put Reg up front um, and then just rode the lines from there to, to make sure that we, we got the win. And quite rightly, attentions have got to turn to that next game. That's Telford. It's going to be the comeback game. You've got the measure of Telford now. Teams are pinching points off each other in this league. What's got to be done there to take the points away from the Tigers? Yeah, well, I think it's just we need to play our game now. We're, we've got it set up well. We're, we're working hard. We're, we're digging in deep. We're, we've got good lines. We're rolling the lines as well. I think we've got four lines going now. So we've got the numbers to be able to keep going and, and grinding teams down. And that's what we, we do really well. We've, we've got good experience, as I say. Um, we've got the youngsters coming through, but we're, we're just working that hard. And that's what we do very well. Notably tonight, though, we've got to mention, obviously, Dean Bowalter not between the pipes for you. You had Warren Guilfoyle there tonight. Uh, I think Ollie was also back up as well. When you've got a wide selection of netminders like that, that's got to breed confidence. Yeah, I think that goes for the whole team, really. Um, as you say, we've got Warren, we've got Dean coming back, so there's there's good competition there as well. But that's the same throughout the whole team. We're pushing each other, and not just in goal, we're pushing it all, all throughout, so... It only bodes well for the rest of the season, really. As you say, we're starting to get some momentum going and uh, we hope to continue with that. So hopefully we can continue into the next games. And as you say, teams are taking points off each of us, but hopefully we'll keep winning. So I'll put you on the spot now. Will we see you in the final four? Yes, without a doubt. Good answer. Well, we'll hopefully catch you again soon. And thanks very much. Thank you. Well, Ben, it kind of went to the way the form book would say. But you've got to say, that first period, the Dragons showed that promise that I thought that it was going to take all the way through into this. Well, I did have to go and get that script back out the bin and, and, and tape it back up. Because <laughs> I think you're quite right, it did, didn't it? It went, it went to form, but it took a while to get going. And I think that, that's what the Dragons really need to capitalise on now. The fact that they've got that heart and the potential to do that. They took the first two periods, you know. You, you look at the score sheets, straight away, first period, 2-0 to the Dragons. Second period, although the you know the Jets ran away three goals, again, Dragons four bring two, it back for you know four four two. Now. So, it, it the Dragons have the potential. They have the know-how. They have the skill. Have they got the heart, the grit, and the determination to keep that up for three periods? That's the telltale question at the moment. Well, the crazy thing is, as you said at the start of the show, two losses the Jets have had all season so far, and one of them was against the Dragons in the hangar when the Dragons ran out 6-4 winners and it kind of thought you know are we going to see a repeat of that then it looked like it was going to be the reverse of course 8-4 winners on the night Jets have got to be happy because looking at the tables now that puts the Jets still in second place with 12 points and of course the other result tonight was uh, Sheffield beating the Aces that keeps them in third place with uh, 11 points Looking well for those three teams at the top. The Jets certainly keeping the pressure on to Bradford. Well, you say that, but, you know, out of those top four teams, because you've got to include Telford in there as well, you know, that is the next fixture for, for the Jets, and that, that could be a telltale fixture, to be fair. And strangely enough, the next fixture for the Dragons is Sheffield. So, a lot to play for still in this league. But you can catch all the games right here on Drop the Puck. Follow us on YouTube, on Twitter, Facebook, all the usual places. Just click like and you get updates of when the next episode's coming up. We've had a great night here. And you can catch us next time we Drop the Puck.